What's up, everybody? It's Casimir Kaskasua. I'm a goalie for Laval Rocket in the American Hockey League, and we're Montreal Canadiens affiliate team. And if you're new to the channel, I kind of do day in the life, pro hockey, all that kind of stuff behind the scenes, travel, warm ups, I'm trying to educate you guys, keep the content as positive, but as positive as possible. I think I got like 12 games left on my uh, professional trial here with Laval. And tonight is game day. I'm suit on, I'm going to the game. We're playing against Rochester tonight, Friday night, and then tomorrow at three o'clock, another game against Rochester here at home. Dobich is starting in net tonight, and then I think I should be playing tomorrow. Uh, we have to wait, wait and see about that, but it is a good chance for revenge for us. We got slapped around by Rochester last weekend, seven to four. I was yanked after four. Didn't go that well for me. So uh, that's that's the nice thing about pro hockey. You always get a chance for a payback, and games come at you fast. So I'm just gonna head to the rink, hoping for a big W after a couple losses. So before I hop into a little Q&A from you guys, um, just want to announce that me, my wife, and the Tricolor Sports, which is a fan shop at the rink, we're going to do a signed jersey giveaway. So it should be dropping around the same time this video comes out. Uh, so that'll be done over on Instagram. We'll also have some other stuff from the fan shop, like the hat that I wear on the bench. Some sweatshirts, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we'll be putting up a nice little package that will be given away uh, to you to you fans. But I have a couple questions from you guys to answer here. First question, what's the best part about playing in Laval? I think it's just the fans. You know, playing at home is, is unbelievable. The, the rink's almost sold out every game and uh, the facilities are great. The arena is awesome. So we go on the road, we play in different rinks and then we play at home. It almost feels like we're, <laughs> we're playing in a different league. So uh, big shout out to all the fans. It makes the experience so much better. And obviously how we're taken care of as players, the, the coaching staff, the management, how our facilities are at the rinks. It's, it's top notch and it's, it's pretty much NHL level. So it's really fun to be part of that. And, um, show up to the rink every day, so it makes it really enjoyable for all, for all us players. The next question is, uh, how do I get mentally back after an average game or bad game or and an injury? So the thing with injuries, it depends on how long you're out. 
um, but you usually get a big morale boost coming back, joining the team practices. So uh, you get a lot of energy from that. So it's mentally during when you're injured, it's not fun to miss practices and be on a different schedule and miss games. So you, when you come back, you get a huge boost. You kind of feel like yourself again. So that kind of takes, takes care of itself. If I've had to miss games and uh, even uh, not having a team for the first half of the season, like just putting effort in practice and gaining confidence from that and being able to do the VR training with NHL Sense Arena and uh, running through power play drills when I didn't have access to access to ice. That was that was huge. And, you know, you work hard to get confidence and that helps with mental health as well. And uh, then you feel feel more ready to step back into it and playing bad games. You know, it, it happens. It's not always your fault as a goalie. You might think sometimes it is, but a lot of those things are out of your control. So the big thing is just to look at the game through the stat lines. So um what what were those situations what were those goals and uh how we can how we can fix that usually for me like when i've had a bad game or letting a lot of goals it's a good good opportunity for me to look at those things like okay like this needs this needs addressing at, at practice now and, and also look at the good things there's going to be a lot of good things that are in a game so it's you have to find find that balance of of taking something that you learn from and um be happy about the about the good things and then go into practice and work on those and get confidence on feeling good about some of the mistakes that you did so and with hockey there's a lot of games you're gonna get a new opportunity so just gotta make sure you're ready to go and get your payback last question tough one do you think you will ever get called up to the nhl i mean try to get back to the nhl is kind of the whole whole point of of me playing and that will always be be the goal obviously played played two games now and uh, going going over to Europe, get some experience, and then able to finally able to come back and play in the AHL. So, just trying to apply all the experiences that I've had, and um, sometimes with goaltending, it's being in the right place at the right time. But for me, I'm just take it day by day. I'm just grateful to be playing in American League, which is high level. So you're not you're not too far from the NHL. I still got still got some work to do for some some boxes to fill that to improve my game and um, yeah, I'm just excited to, you know, get to go to the rink in, in an AHL environment every day and do my best. That's all I can do. Work hard every day and trying to get better and each game trying to give the team a win and, and those things will kind of take care of itself. But yeah, there's there's still a lot of time left, but that's that's always going to be the goal. And uh, I like how I played. I played this year coming back and, and feeling good about the North American game. and. Uh, got some experience, so hopefully, hopefully some teams will, will like that. Send some questions down below. Uh, I'll try to do this in a quicker version next time. And now it's time to hop into a game. Big two points last night, going to the game. Doby's getting another start today, so I'll be on the bench again. Uh, Rochester again. I think Devin Levi is going to play for them. It'll be fun watching him play for the first time. And uh, yeah, it's the last one before, before All-Star break, and so hopefully uh, ended up with uh, another two points.
The shortest little update here from the uh, our Ulcer break. I've been doing the workouts on the PTP Fit app here at the apartment, and I've been getting a tons of questions on what I do for warm ups, for recovery, for workouts, any tips and tricks. And I'm excited to say I'm working on a program with PTP Fit. So I have my own hockey program on the PTP Fit app. Anything from warm ups to recovery to flexibility to off season training. So I'll be there. I'm working on it right now, putting it together. Then I gotta film it. So hopefully soon it'll be on the app too. But in the next video, we're heading out to Toronto. Back, finally back in Toronto after four years. Excited for that. I know that was the one weekend I had circled out right after I signed with the Laval, so that'll be super fun. That's it. I think I got like seven games left in the PTO, but we'll go game at a time. Focus on Toronto right now. Make sure to subscribe. See you next video.